often referred to as the gorse of the sea, Andaria has the potential to significantly damage a unique area of fiordland. Environment Southland and the Department of Conservation have been attempting to eradicate the Asian kelp from Braxea Sound since 2010, but a delimiting survey carried out last year showed it was widespread in the area, prompting a controlled area notice late last year. Because it's such an invasive plant, could actually damage the unique marine ecosystems and fjord, and particularly the really high value aspects of it like the, the red and black corals. Because it was so well established we really had to give up on the eradication or elimination idea. So now we're faced with trying to prevent further spread within the Braxy Sound area and obviously to prevent it getting into other fields. The controlled area covers a large portion of Braxy Sound including Beach Harbour and Sunday Cove where the plant was originally found. Restrictions on the controlled area include a maximum mooring duration of 48 hours, with no anchoring permitted and no marine equipment may be transported out of the area. The whole idea of the controlled area, which is about six or so kilometres long and about a kilometre wide, where this infestation is found, is to prevent people from spending any more than a very short period of time there to, re to uh, reduce the risk of them picking up this, this weed and, um, and moving it to other places. And he said anyone not complying with the restrictions could face serious consequences. We may require them to have their vessel cleaned in situ. In other words, we'd have to bring in equipment to treat the vessel in situ if it was really serious at their expense. Uh, we, we would probably require them to leave the field and area and not come back until their vessel was clean. Uh, and then, of course, if the worst came to the worst, you'd have the options for prosecution. Environment Southland are also battling the natural spread of Andaria through currents and tides, and will be meeting with scientists from Otago University later this month to discuss means of preventing the spread. Sharon Rees, The South Today.